Well, it's that time in the show where we switch over from coffee to wine. We're exploring the hidden gem region on the Italian coast that super wine girl Angela Aiello is going to tell us about. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, Bob. How are you today? Good, good to see you too. So th <laughs> this is, um, I had actually never uh, heard about this reason, uh, region. Uh, La Marche, is it pronounced? Yeah, Le Marche. Le Marche. Uh, we're going to learn some so Italian So easy once you know today, the language. Le Marche. <laughs> yes. I'm practicing my Italian as well. And you know what? It's so much easier to learn a language when you yeah. learn it in wine. The French actually, version would be, be La Marche. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Le Marque. Uh, it's a hard, hard CH, but it is a hidden gem in Italy. It's on the east coast of the country with a nice Mediterranean climate, beautiful hillsides, and the wine of the region is called Verdicchio. Is that what's so sitting in front of me? This grape. Uh, sorry? Is that what's in front of me here? Yes. Can you? Verdicchio. Yeah. It means little green one. I'm dressed up appropriately today for it. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, little green one. Yeah, exactly. And I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but do you recognize this bottle? Is this a bottle you've seen before? Um, I think I recognize the little scroll attached to it. What's the story behind that? Yes, yeah, so what I love about this bottle is it's super unique. It's the only one of its kind. It was designed just after World War II, specifically from the winery, to give the wine a, you know, an appeal that obviously no one else has had before. And so the bottle was designed as well as the scroll. And you'll see the scroll actually has on one side a map of the entire region, and the other side the wine story of the winery, which is very cool. It's super authentic. Oh, that's very interesting. So if we want to uh, tour this area, because there, there's so many, like Italy, you have to do in like four or five trips because there's so many incredible regions. Yeah. So this one, um, are there lots of tours? And uh, what, what does the region look like? How does it compare? It's, I mean, it's gorgeous. It's known for sandy beaches, clear blue waters. If you Google La Marque, I mean, it's really quite a gorgeous little region. And um, the wines of the region, this is sort of the icon white. So there's going to be some red and whites across Italy, indigenous grapes, obviously only grown in this area. And you'll notice that uh, the wine is very light and bright by this clear bottle. But you also have a lot of crisp, clean, refreshing uh, notes in this wine, lots of fresh acidity. So is that my cue, for... Angela? Yeah, exactly. There's lots of humor to it. It's you know, <laughs> very delicious. I know you're a red wine guy, Bob, but this white is quite uh, delicious, fresh, crisp. It's a 2020 vintage too, so I'm it's brand some, new. I'm getting some fresh bread and mushroom notes. Yes, <laughs> some almond and uh, citrus. <laughs> this is good. It's really good. It's delicious. So we've got hillside vineyards mm -hmm. with you know booming sunshine. Uh, thousands of tourists a year used to visit, and this amphora-shaped bottle is, a, is an icon. The winery itself has been making wine for four generations, so they do have a very long history of making wine, and this grape has been around for six centuries and so we are looking that's at incredible a very old grape. really quite delicious isn't it yeah so but like we're, those we're grapes, on the hillsides of, like those grapes sorry? were around that many years like how does it compare to other regions as far as the age of it definitely i mean italy has some very old wines europe has very old vines uh when it comes to grapes as well and so i mean it, this wine is so it's such a classically awesome story and it's 13 dollars at the lcbo so it, it does have that great price having uh, yeah, exactly. An expensive price tag to it as well. And so, um, I mean, all of Italy is so you talk about, you know, traveling to it and having to be there four or five times. It's probably one of the most complicated wine regions to learn about as well. So <laughs> yeah. don't, don't fear if you really yeah. are a little lost. They know about us, though. I was actually in Tuscany visiting a winery. And when he found out where I was from, he went, oh, LCBO, do not buy enough from me. <laughs> True. Well, actually, I'm glad that you were in Tuscany. It's such a beautiful area. And this La Marche region is really close to Tuscany. So it's really just on the other side. Mm -hmm. And so you can find the Pazzi Battaglia over there just on the hillsides, but it's really just a short drive from Tuscany. So you're not looking far from probably one of those well-known regions of Italy, right? Yeah, that's amazing. So that grape that you mentioned, um, like, is that one of many varietals or is it the one grape? The one, though there are other grapes grown in the region, but Verdicchio is sort of the hero white grape right. of the region. Um, and because it has a very Mediterranean climate, I mean, the food pairings with this are wonderful. Right. You could do grilled fish, okay. or crudo, seafood risotto, cheap yeah. pork, I mean, lots of Mediterranean. Okay, dishes. just just a few seconds left. Uh, but uh, so it's 13 bucks at the LCBO. Does that include mm -hmm. the scroll? Yes, it does. <laughs> you get the map so you can go there and buy more. Exactly. Do your wine studies. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, super wine girl. Cheers, Bob.